you test positive for COVID-19, others you've interacted with could be at risk. In our weekly Q&A session with Toronto's Associate Medical Officer of Health, Dr. Vinita Dubé explains contact tracing and how it works. With contact tracing, you want to find out where did the person get the infection and who could they have spread it to. And when you're trying to figure out who they could have spread it to, those are the contacts. But we divide contacts into high, medium and low risk. Okay. And so if you ask someone in the grocery store, that would be considered a low-risk contact. We wouldn't necessarily get in touch with you because we know that COVID is spreading. You need to take precautions. A medium-risk contact is someone in a workplace, but you have not had six feet contact with them for more than 15 minutes. And so the fact that they were in your work environment means you could have been exposed, but the risk is not high. And so we ask you then what we call self-monitor. Keep a close eye on your symptoms. If you get symptoms, stay home and get tested. Mm -hmm. But if in that work environment you had someone who you worked with very closely, there were times when you didn't keep that six feet distance, that would be considered a high-risk contact. People you live with are in that situation as well, and they are asked to self-isolate. And so we call it um, a risk assessment. It's a risk-based approach based on how much contact you've had with the person who was contagious. If you have had contact with somebody that was contagious, the people in your household would also then be considered high-risk contact? No. So if you had contact with someone at work, you're considered high-risk and you need to isolate. The people in your household, they never had contact with that person. They only have contact with you. And so they are a contact of a contact. And so your household members need to stay away from you. I, I try and keep as much distance as you can. If you develop COVID, they become high-risk contacts. Right. This week, Dr. Dubey also addressed vaccines, the chances of reinfection, as well as more questions on testing. And for the full Q&A, you can go to our websites, citynews.ca and 680news.com. Point your phone camera to the code on the screen you see right now, and a link will pop up to take you directly to the article. For City News, I'm Dilshad Berman.